is one of our most successful Hollywood exports. Director Philip Noyce launched Nicole Kidman's international career and has worked with stars like Harrison Ford, Michael Caine and Angelina Jolie. And he's just braved the coronavirus pandemic to finish filming a new movie with Naomi Watts in Canada. And he joins us now from his home in Hollywood. Phil, great to see you. Great to be here, yeah. Dead calm. It made Hollywood sit up and take notice of both you and a very young Nicole Kidman. Um, what was it that made you want to take a chance on Nicole? Well, she'd been in a uh, TV series uh, called uh, Vietnam um, and she featured in a couple of really outstanding emotional scenes. And although she was just 19 when, when we cast her as the wife of the 40-year-old um, actor beside her, Sam Neill. Um, you know, she was just so outstanding. Just looking at her screen test, I thought, I'll tell you what I did think, to tell the truth, I thought, I'm going to look good if I cast this woman <laughs> in this movie. That's it. And after the success of Dead Calm, you went straight to Hollywood to look even better by making Patriot Games with Harrison Ford. Yeah, well, uh, I was accompanied by uh, Nicole because she went straight into the A-list and has remained there ever since. Uh, and I went straight on to uh, Patriot Games with Harrison, shooting in London and all around the world. The beginning of about 10 years of making films inside the, the beast that is Hollywood before I came back to Australia for Rabbit Proof Fence in 2000. Oh, before we talk we just, about that, yeah, there's yeah. a photo. We just saw a photo of yourself and Harrison on a plane there. Uh, where, were you, where were you taking them? Well, I was taking him from Los Angeles to um, Washington to go to the CIA so he could go in and find out all the oh, CIA wow. so he could play a CIA operative. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you have a superstar. You get access to all sorts <laughs> of things that people uh, wouldn't normally be allowed. That is mind-blowing. Um, you just mentioned Rabbit Proof Fence, which is such an iconic Australian film. Um, is it true that you didn't really want to do it at first, but um, the script came your way and how you actually changed your mind on this one? Well, it wasn't that I didn't want to do it. It was just that the screenwriter, Christine Olsen, rang me in the middle of the night here in Los Angeles and told me she had the perfect script for me and I was the perfect director. And I thought she was nuts, crazy. <laughs> in my office, if she rings back, get rid of her. But the lady that was answering the phone didn't get rid of her. She made friends with Christine. She got the script sent over. She read it, and she wouldn't leave me alone until I read it. And that was three months later, having put off reading it. And when I read it, I realised that it wasn't just a film about those three girls that you can see there on the screen now. It was a film about me as well, because like them, I needed to leave Hollywood and go home on a long journey. Yeah. And that's what I did back to Australia, started shooting the film on my little Sony Handycam and, well, we ended up selling it all around the world. Well, we're glad you did because it was amazing. It's spectacular. Now, you've just finished filming uh, Lakewood with Naomi Watts in Canada. Um, is it true yeah. that you shot part of that movie on a smartphone? Is that, is that the future of films? Oh, well, I think it's the future, absolutely. Yes, I did. We shot several sequences on smartphone. Um, which brings us to the topic of the, the uh, smartphone flick fest, uh, which I'm a patron of, an, an extraordinary event that's held in Australia each year. It's in its sixth year now, $40,000 worth of prizes. They had entries this year from 50 countries um, all over the world, including El Salvador, the Congo, Nigeria, Japan, um, an extraordinary event which I'm glad to support because way back, 52 years ago, I wandered into a cinema over there on, uh, uh, in Sydney and saw some what were called underground movies, movies made just like the smartphone flick fest, festival films for almost nothing. And my eyes were opened up and I decided I was going to become a filmmaker on that night wow. at the uh, football theatre in Sydney at Sydney University back in 1968. So... You know, I hope that this festival opens up a lot of eyes uh, to, to, the, to the possibility that anyone, because that's what the guys who put on those films back when I was 18 year, years old told me. They said, anyone can make a movie. And I believe them. And it's more true now 
with technology than it ever was because you don't need money. The smartphone is your one-stop shop. You can write your script, you can film it, you can edit it, and you can monetize it by putting it on YouTube. You know, it's, it's everything. It's the whole movie studio. And this festival is extraordinary, really. I love, I love of, yeah, that you're inspiring a whole yeah, yeah. new the generation. The who needed to hear that, huh? Yeah, of filmmakers. Hey, before we let you go... Yeah. Sorry, before we let I'm you just, go... Oh, other kids to do what I did, which was to step up and, you know, seize the moment and use my imagination. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Now, before we let you go, I've got to ask you about this. I'm very excited about this question, obviously. Um, we hear that you're planning a film about your parents' wartime love story. And um, will you have to cast someone to play yourself? And who do you want to play your mum and dad? Well, um, you know, there's my mum. Oh. <laughs> oh. That she sent my dad when he was in Tobruk. Um, in, in North Africa for nine months, surrounded by the Germans. And that's what kept him going, wanting to get back home and find out what is behind that towel that no. she's holding up. Hey. Um, you know, at the moment, I have Jacob e Elordi, a wonderful young Australian actor, uh, to play my dad. I don't know if you know him uh, from U Euphoria, the HBO series. Oh, um, yeah. Yep, he's also in the Kissing Booth, uh, the, the Kissing Booth one and two, an amazing uh, Queensland actor, six feet four, just like my dad. And well, how could I ever find someone who could measure up to my mum? Oh, so, for that that one. Aww, but that's, that's a movie I hope to make in the future. It's called The Rats of Tobruk. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Maybe, maybe an Rose, eye Rose Byrne, maybe. No, she's too old oh, for yes, Jacob. Yes, my dad was okay. 21. It's, oh, it's, yes, it's, it's, mm. So we're looking for, you know, a newly uh, uh, um, minted young star. Fresh talent. The next That's Nicole Kidman. Want, yeah, of course. The next Nicole Kidman. That's, <laughs> yeah. She's out there. Oh, of course oh. she is. Fantastic. Great to hear. Uh, Philip is an ambassador for the smartphone flick fest. Entries are now open for next year's. Uh, find out more at sf 3comau Philip Noyce, thank you so much for talking to us. It's a pleasure. Pleasure, yeah.